What is food? Everything we eat comes from a living thing. We eat plants. Fruits and vegetables are obviously plants, but chocolate, bread, pasta, and cookies are also made from plants. We also eat food made from animal products, such as meat, poultry, eggs, and dairy. All of these things are food. They all come from living things. Living things are made of cells, and because food is made from living things, food is made of cells. But what are cells made of? Cells from plants and cells from animals have a lot in common. They are all made of the same molecules, called biomolecules. Bio means life. So biomolecules are the molecules that make up living things. There are four types of biomolecules. Carbohydrates, lipids, those are fats, proteins, and nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are things like DNA and RNA. Nucleic acids make up a small part of each cell, and they give instructions to the cell so it can perform its cellular job. They aren't used for energy, so we'll learn about them later. The food that we eat is primarily made of the other three biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Some foods have all of these biomolecules, and other foods only have one or two types of biomolecule. Food is important because it provides energy for living and atoms or molecules for growing. Carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins are important because these molecules all contain energy and atoms. When eaten, the energy can be released from the bonds of these molecules and the atoms can be used to make new molecules that the cells need to grow. Carbohydrates include molecules like simple sugars, glucose, lactose, and sucrose, as well as complex molecules such as starches and cellulose. Carbohydrates are made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Carbohydrates store chemical energy, but they also make up cell structures. A plant's cell wall is made of cellulose, a complex carbohydrate. Like carbohydrates, lipids are made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Lipids, commonly known as fats, are used by cells to store energy as these molecules have lots of carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds. Lipids are also incredibly important molecules as they are the primary molecule in the cell membrane. Proteins are a little different than lipids and carbohydrates in that proteins contain atoms of nitrogen in addition to having carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Proteins can store energy but they don't have as many carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds as lipids and carbohydrates. Proteins are important for cell functions as they control all of the things the cell does. Proteins break down and build molecules. Proteins provide structural support to cells. Proteins allow cells to move, they're involved in cell communication, and they fight invaders. Proteins are the doing molecules in cells. Carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids enter our bodies when we eat food. These molecules are polymers, meaning that they're large molecules made of smaller subunits called monomers. Before entering the cell, polymers must be broken down into monomers because monomers are small enough that they can get into cells through the cell membrane. The process of breaking polymers into monomers is called digestion. Each biomolecule is made of different monomers, Proteins are made of amino acids. There are 20 different amino acids, and each protein is made of a different number and order of amino acids. Amino acids can be transported into the cell, so during digestion, each protein is broken apart into the amino acids that make it. Lipids are primarily made of fatty acids and glycerol. Fatty acids hate water, which is why oil and water don't mix. There are lipids that are made out of carbon rings, such as steroids, including testosterone, estrogen, and cholesterol. However, most lipid-containing foods are made of fatty acids and glycerol. Fatty acids and glycerol are the monomers of lipids. Carbohydrates are made of sugars. When multiple sugar molecules are bonded together, we call them polysaccharides. Poly means many, and saccharide means sugar. Monosaccharides are the monomers, and polysaccharides are the polymers, but they're all carbohydrates. 
Once the monomers are inside the cell, they're normally built back into polymers. Monomers are like building blocks. They can be put together to build complex polymers, taken apart, and rearranged to build a different complex polymer. This means that the polymer that they make in one cell might be different than the polymer they were before they were digested. For example, perhaps you ate a burger for dinner. The meat of the burger contains lots of muscle proteins. During digestion, the muscle proteins are broken down into amino acids. The amino acids are then taken into your cells. Perhaps some of the amino acids end up in cells that make your hair. In order to make more hair, your hair-forming cells make a protein called keratin. The amino acids that were in the burger will be put together by your hair follicles in the specific order that makes the protein keratin. In this way, your cell can make the biomolecules it needs to grow and perform its function. The cell membrane is made out of a lipid called phospholipid. If your cell needs to make more cell membrane, it will take in fatty acids and combine them into phospholipids. The process of turning monomers into polymers is called biosynthesis. But cells don't have to use monomers to build more cell parts. Each biomolecule contains high energy carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds. This means biomolecules can be broken apart, releasing the energy from the bonds. If a cell needs energy, this is exactly what it does. The process of releasing energy from biomolecules is called cellular respiration. The biomolecules in the food you eat can either be used by the cell to make new cell parts or can be used during cellular respiration in order to release the energy from the high energy carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds in the biomolecules.